What's up you guys, my name is Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching Disney Channel. I wanted to show you guys this really awesome hack that I figured out. It's really fun and super easy to do and leads to a lot of happy accidents. Here's the starting point. What you gotta do first is you gotta make a drum loop like this. So I've got a kick snare and a offbeat snare. The next part is we're going to make some percussion loops underneath. We could normally just have, have like a hi-hat loop underneath this, but you get way cooler results doing this. So what I did is I, I took a drum rack and I filled it up all the way. They're all just percussion one shots. And the point of throwing all these in there is so we can make some percussion loops to go underneath our main drum loop. Having the main drum loop there as the foundation is the main part here. If you don't have that, it doesn't put the rest of everything else in context. And I'm going to show you a couple other things that you could do to sort of improve it after we've got the loop in there. So here's what I like to do. I like to go in, find a full drum loop, find something like... That one's pretty lazy. Let's throw that in there. And now it's going to sound like this. That sounds horrible. What we're gonna do is we're just going to quantize it. We're just gonna highlight everything, press Command U. It's a little bit boring. You even, we even play it with a drum loop. I mean, it's something, but it's not really interesting. So here's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a MIDI effect and we're gonna put random on before this thing. And I'm gonna turn the chance up to like, I don't want it to be all crazy. I don't want it to be bouncing around all over the place. I just wanna have like little spurts of just a random percussion sound in there. And then what we could do here is you can see I've noticed, you notice I got a MIDI effect here called the pitch MIDI effect. And that allows me to shift the position of these MIDI notes, effectively changing the sample. So look, listen to this. Ooh, I like this. This is cool. Okay, I like that. We'll keep that. So it, I got a couple of effects down here too that we can use. I got a drum bus on here if we want to control the transients. And if we want to control the transients further, we could use a transient shaper because the drum bus transient shaper doesn't doesn't fully do it for me all the time. So got to use what you got to use. And then this one is the important one, the frequency shifter. The frequency shifter, especially for those like low toms like we have here. When we turn on the frequency shifter, it changes the game. Okay, I like that, we'll keep it there. Then let's add some reverb. I got the large hull preset here. And then I like to add in this compressed room reverb. This is kind of cool to do in combination with the hall reverb, but also maybe by itself. Let's try both. Let's try it with just the compressed room reverb here. And I've got the room size all the way down. I've got the rack turned all the way up and the room amount turned all the way up. If you're looking where this is, just type in command F compressed room reverb. If you have Ableton Live suite or standard, it should be in there. So this is what it sounds like. Kind of puts it like in the background a little bit. Okay, let's hear a combination here. And then the last thing we could do, I got a, a, a glue compressor here to just catch the peaks. Uh, and then the last thing we could do is turn on the auto pan. If we turn on the auto pan, turn the phase all the way up, bring the rate to 16th, and then turn the amount all the way up, and we invert the pattern, it'll give us this 16th note fluttering pattern, which co combined with the reverb sounds really tight. Super cool. And now we already have this already set up, so we can just go in and go like, all right, now let's start dropping in some other loops here. Remember, select all. I'm gonna quantize at 53% here. And let's just change it. And you could just get some really, really cool results by doing this. You can even capture this too and like just record it into a simpler and, and get something crazy out of it that way. There's so many things you could do. So go out and try it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider clicking like on the video and subscribing and hitting that little bell notification so you know when I post. I mean, you guys already know I post every Friday, but just so you can be reminded to watch the next one. So I'll be back here next week, guys. We'll see you then. Peace.